This episode was brought to you by CuriosityStream. At the bottom of warm seas all over the world, a curious creature waddles along. It is a fish, but its slow movement, stubby pectoral fins, and huge head give it an almost amphibian appearance. This is the incredible frogfish. Hi, I'm Danielle Defoe, and you're watching Animal Logic. There are around 50 species of frogfish in the world, ranging in size from 5 to 40 centimeters long. They live in waters where the temperature is around 20 degrees Celsius and thrive in and around coral. They're usually found in waters 20 to 100 meters deep. They're poor swimmers and use their pectoral and pelvic fins to walk along the ocean floor. They're unusual looking fish, but everything about their biology is designed to help them blend in. Frogfish are ambush predators. Their strategy consists of laying very still on the ocean floor and waiting for prey to come close enough for them to strike. Their color and texture resembles the corals and algae of their ecosystem, making them hard to spot. They can even change color. If they move to a new environment, it will take them just a couple of weeks to fully change to the right color to match their surroundings. Their disguise is realistic enough that sea snails sometimes climb on them, mistaking them for inanimate objects. Some look like coral, others resemble sea sponges. But my favorite of them all is the hairy frogfish, which have long dermal growths called spinules. These are meant to resemble algae-covered coral. When these fishies have their camo on, it's time to go hunting. To attract prey, they use a lure. Their first spine tilts forward and has been modified to look like a delicious worm, which they wiggle around for added realism. In some species, like the hairy frogfish, the esca, or lure, also works as a chemical lure, emitting chemical attractants. That means that to fish, it not only looks like a worm, but also smells like a worm. Dumb fish and crustaceans will get enticed by the promise of an easy meal. If they get too close, the frogfish will pull the trigger. Though they're slow in pretty much every aspect of their lives, Frogfish have the fastest bite of all vertebrates. They can open their mouth, suck in a fish, close their mouth, and swallow in just a few milliseconds, several times faster than the blink of an eye. If you're a prey item, you go from thinking you're about to get a meal to being in the stomach of a frogfish faster than you can even think. That's no moon. When a frogfish opens its mouth, its mouth grows 12 times its original size. By opening their mouth so quickly, the fish creates a large vacuum, forcing water to rush into their mouth, pulling the prey in. Since their mouth is so large, they can eat prey that is almost their same size. To accommodate such large meals, they can inflate themselves like a puffer fish. Frogfish can also do this when threatened by a predator. They will ingest water to make themselves look larger and more dangerous than they actually are. If this fails, they have another ace up their sleeve. They have jet propulsion. To do this, they will inhale a lot of water and then expel it through holes behind their pectoral gills. It's basically like inflating a balloon and then releasing it without tying a knot. It's not elegant, but it works. This method of locomotion is also used when mating. Being ambush predators, frogfish don't spend much time socializing. They don't generally tolerate other frogfish except for when it's time to fertilize eggs. Females are often larger than males, so a male can't do anything but follow a female around at a safe distance until she spawns. 
This process can take up to two days and culminates with the female jetting upwards towards the surface and releasing the eggs at the highest point. The eggs come out in egg rafts, which makes it easier for the male to fertilize. Up to 180,000 eggs can come out at the same time. Unfortunately, like many fish, several species of frogfish are struggling. Species that live in coral reefs are at risk due to coral bleaching, which happens when water gets too hot for the coral to host algae. This starts a domino effect that leads to crashes in biodiversity. If you want to see frogfish in the wild, one of the best places to find them is in the warm waters of the Indian Ocean. Go check them out while they're still abundant, but please don't disturb them. Our oceans are in trouble, and one of the biggest obstacles they're facing are commercial fisheries, which over the last 40 years have eliminated roughly half of all marine life on our planet. In the short documentary, The Health of Our Oceans, renowned marine biologist Dr. Sylvia Earle reveals why the dual threat of ocean pollution and overfishing could have a devastating impact on mankind. The documentary is a fascinating and impactful look at our current and historical relationship with marine life. And you can watch it right now on CuriosityStream. If you like Animal Logic, I really think you'll love this documentary. And the best part? You can watch it for free. Just go to curiositystream.com slash animalogic and claim your 30-day free trial with the promo code ANIMALOGIC. I spend a lot of time watching nature documentaries, and CuriosityStream is my favorite place to watch. They have so many cool docs that keep me hooked every time I watch. CuriosityStream is a subscription streaming service that has thousands of titles on everything from the real War of Thrones to Chernobyl to Star Trek. If you're looking for something smart to binge this weekend, you should sign up for CuriosityStream. What animal should we talk about next? Please let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe for new episodes of Animal Logic every other week. Thanks for watching!